Okay. I gotta redo this one. I had it on the back camera. And, um, I must have touched something. I did stop recording because I've been talking to myself. Okay. Well, still in the cool trans truck. We got like four others that are all nice and clean. I'm just saying that because it seemed like I'm just figuring out why I'm a dispatcher asking about it besides just, you know, random knowledge that just need to keep updated. He sounded a little urgent in his voice. It's kind of like maybe they lied to him or something. No way. But, um. trucks but he has information they needs here's the information you know I pushed hard got here last night and um, talked to maintenance even though it's a weekend Saturday all they're gonna know is what's written down on the board I'm waiting to ask him yeah I'm just checking on the truck it's um gave him the number and ask me that what well, what's wrong I'm like I ain't no worry is that what's up you know, if he, if the dude, mechanic, tech, whatever, grease monkey, just gonna say, oh, you done a little bit, it done to let you know. Like, what's your name? I need a, I need a name with that information. I didn't have to do that. I got a name. Um, took me inside the office, like, oh, you know, I was like, I'm still, I'm like, we need to know. Fucking kids. Um, I'm just getting me, just like, I'm just understanding. Hey, they get who they can, they don't get the best working out here. But, um, get the information, show me the board, you know. And I'm like, thank you, that's all I need to know. Cool. Because I know that's all they know. Yeah, I sent that information to Brian, and I said, as soon as the dealership's open, it's easy to find a, a dealership number. Google. Hobo truck, Salt Lake. Boop, there it is, okay, you know. Because they opened up at 8. And, um, did that. Got hold of a Jose. I think he said name Jose. Maybe it's Josie, I don't know. But, um, but, um, but, um, but, um, but, da -dum, da -dum. but, basically, they didn't really got to it, like actual got to the work because they're waiting on approval from night. So the dispatcher has that information. Let's give to whoever asking. Boom boom, at dealership. Not done yet. And Jose told me the truth. I believe he told me the truth. Asking him, so you know when you might be done? He says, I don't know. I'm like, that's awesome. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm like, oh, I talked to somebody who has, who has balls to say the truth. I don't know. That's awesome. That's what I tell him. He does not know. It depends on when you're going to get the approval. Then they order the parts. When will they show up? And all the other stuff. So that's the truth. You don't know. That's awesome. They're probably, they're probably gonna be fixed right. They're gonna break down on me, give me back. Oh yes, I'd probably call on my truck. See if it's done. They probably need to do that too. I might update later on, I don't know. Yeah, we are not gonna know shit. I'm gonna wait till Monday. Probably try to Calling weekend crew, they lie. It's just saying we don't really know. Just give me some answer, and not question about that answer because it, it's a not a valid answer. It's a um, answer with a lot of holes in it. So it's too random, too. It's like, no, I don't need. I'm like, no, nah, I need a more precise answer. But let's wait to Monday, 10 o'clock. Third time, 
9 and 10 when the actual John, the, uh, I guess his service manager, talked to him. Thank all the digs after I found out good warranty. I'm like, okay. <laughs> It was a warranty. I'm paying for it. I'm gonna be like on their ass to get the damn thing done. But a warranty, no corporation gonna be on their butt I'm trying to get it done. So I don't need to. No one knows why it goes out. I'm gonna ask for to pick up the truck. You know, try to be nice and friendly. You know, hey. A straight answer, and he talks to somebody. I just can tell me why. Even the theory. Something, you know, I can understand when the next time it goes out. Maybe the last time they didn't replace them all. We'll see. So for this old truck, I like that, I like that, I like that, that frame liner, I really do. You know, a little more challenging for backing on tire spots, but I'm, I can do it. You know, been practicing. So, but then you get going, get my logs all squared away and whatnot. Oh yeah, I was talking about, you know, Thanos and, um, that last Avengers movie, not Age of Ultron, um, not The Gauntlet, that's a comic book one, but you know what I'm talking about, the recent one came out, and Thanos snap, how the people did, and made people make him out as a bad guy, but even Shaman is like, Some the heroes was on his planet. They didn't know. He showed up and he had one of the stones and he showed them, boom, you know, what his planet looked like. And it was nice and he told them what was happening. Famine was taking over and he suggested 50% of the population. Random, not just poor, not rich, just random. Random people, poor and rich, you know. And they said, oh, heartless, you know, because probably because they got ate up by the liberal you know, bleeding heart syndrome. And then, then the whole planet, there's no one. Not in plant life. It's barren. Now, if you're talking about, oh, you know, life, quality of, I mean, you know, the right life and blah, blah, blah. It's like, what about the quality of that life's life? Be alive and suffering? It better not to exist. You know, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Spock said that stuff. I do this here. Yeah, motor skills still a little bit screwed up. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, it's getting better. Um, needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Well, if you picked, I'd be like, yes, yeah, baby. There's something better out there than here. Being stuck on the planet, held to the rules, gravity and everything else, in a body, you know, that goes to shit. There's one older gentleman, he's going to be 65, it's about the insurance. He has cancer of testicles, whatnot, and he just wants them taken out. He said, that'd be a solution for him. I don't need him. He doesn't leave back your sex, whatnot. You know. He said, he ain't going to be having nothing to shoot off. You know. That's what he thinks, but I guess not having him not constantly be shot with radiation would be pretty good. The insurance company, what they said, oh, we consider that cosmetic. So they'd rather pay out for the shots and the chemo. I 
just save money. We talked to the doctor. Doctor told him the cash price is four thousand for eight thousand for insurance. Four thousand. And that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna just pay out of his own pocket. Knock it out. You know, it's kind of like I'm thinking, huh? Maybe I should just drop my insurance. That's a hell of a, you know. The dent was like a thousand something. I'm, I'm thinking about when I get that old, you know, getting them implants. And they got two styles. They got one, they screw each of them in. Because the other one's almost like a denture set up. But, um, they screw them in and they stay in. Do it cheaper. A whole lot cheaper. But, it depends how, it depends how it's made. I don't just go over the roof of your mouth, but it affects your taste. You'll see. That's yours on the road arm. But yeah, I'm 46. But, I'm 46. No, 71. Anyways, don't matter. <laughs> they consider that cosmetic. And it could save them a lot of money. Middle, manage middle management. Corporate pukes. Have no fucking common sense. Ugh. I told me the treatments because those are many treatments. I'm like, the insurance company's getting kicked back on that stuff. There's money in treatments, there's no money in cures. Getting your nuts cut out, that's a cure, cancer's gone. Yeah. I'll make you more pleasant. Let's, let's get mad, be just happy, happy doggy. What's wrong with that? So it won't bother you as much. Maybe that's what I need done. <laughs> Get my nuts cut out. So it won't bother me no more. I don't know. Kind of like playing with them for now. But I pretty much, that's all I pretty much said on the last one. Except did a little walk by in my truck. Oh, wait a minute, can't do that this way. Yay, it's work. I like it. I'm going to have to give it up next day, but pretty soon. But, um, I walked over there where they got the other cold cane, trucks, parked. I mean, maybe they're just dropping off their, um, ones they're going to trade off. I don't know. Maybe people can at least purchase these. So these don't have the John, the treadle valves, the Johnny bars, you know, add more stopping power to the trailer. They got them. There's other ones that do, but these don't. And the auto shifts. You know, we're okay going long distance over the road, there's less shifting, but um, Dr. McGon, they experimented with them in the oil field and you know, hanging up. But that's trucker story. I can take it with a grain of salt. You know. So I don't know. Uh, the tape flap, please. Mount this on the homemade redneck mount. Okay, here. See, let's check that surround. It's random truck. Looks clean. Okay. Let's see. See? Clean. The key in it. Maybe 
these people are going to watch the truck people. Oh, the truck watchers like me. You know, it's my trailer way here to wash my truck. But that's pretty neat. You park the coal tank truck there and yeehaw. That, that's pretty cool. That's what I envision doing to my Volvo. If I don't trade it off. That'd definitely be bad. That'd be, that'd definitely <laughs> knock some cars out of the way. <laughs> Brake check this. Pow. In there. Clean out. I want to send a text. So it's still real cover. Is it still drive strap? No, I want it's unlocked. See? That smells good too. So, so I need to send off a text. Anywho.